Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you the new updates to Google Translate on the Galaxy Note 4. So Google Translate has had a couple of big features added to its newest update, which is available today to download uh, both on the Android and iOS app stores. So last year, Google bought WordLens, which is an application that allows for real-time translation using the camera on your device. While the feature has been available on the Google Glass, it has now made its way to the native Google Translate application. I'll also be covering another feature which allows for easy translation when having a conversation. So let's open up Google Translate. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use WordLens, the real-time translation. So here in the back, you can see a sign uh, that's in Spanish. So we're going to be translating it to English. And I'm going to tap on the camera icon. So here's the screen and up here I'm going to put Spanish to English since the sign is in Spanish. So now I'm going to back up and I'm going to show you guys. It says exit of emergency. A Google Translate will translate all of the words on the sign. If you're a Spanish speaker, you know that this sign means emergency exit. But since there are three words, it's going to translate all of them. So sometimes it might be rough, it might not always be the best but you can get the gist of what the sign says uh, with the application. I use it on several other signs and it worked pretty well for the most part. If you want a better translation, what you can do is tap on scan and it'll scan the words and I'll use your finger to highlight the words and here you can see that it says emergency exit. So it translates it the way that it should be. Okay, so now we're going to use the feature for a conversation. So I'm going to be changing this to French and so here you can tap on the microphone icon and speak in whatever language you want to speak first. So I'm going to be speaking English first and it will be translated into French. And then a person who speaks in French can then speak into the smartphone and it will be translated back into English. And that way you can have a conversation back and forth seamlessly. So I'm going to tap on the icon. Where is the remote control? Je ne sais pas. I don't know. And there you can see that you can continue going in English or in French uh, or whatever language you want. The app will recognize which language you're speaking, will then translate it, and will then speak it out loud. So this way you can easily have a conversation with someone that doesn't know English or doesn't know the language that you speak. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. All right, thanks, guys.